Greg, was uh, women's injury serious? It may be. I don't know yet. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a knee. Fuck, 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 Play the game, you know. Put some pieces together. We've got third down, red zone, and first and second down in. So those are the th those are the areas we'll play. And, you know, we haven't put goal line in. We haven't put four minute, two minute, any of that stuff yet. So we won't do any of that. I got special teams. Have you gotten a chance to see who might be the next McCordy Lafege? I mean, is one guy jumping out? Is he is he going to be that type of guy? Not yet. I no? seen it yet. Get no. You have a couple of candidates, I mean, guys that you. Do you think have a chance to do that? Or are they just unique individuals? Well, they were unique individuals. I hope we have some more unique individuals. But uh, I don't know if we do. That will be determined more in camp. Greg Aiken was a guy who in high school blocked a lot of kicks. Have you seen much from him with the special team? It's pretty natural when we do the punt block circuit. So it's pretty, pretty natural. Greg, what about the center position? Um, Dallas ahead of Ose? And he is, but it's close. We're battling each other. There's two guys that are really working hard, so I love the competition there. Getting back to the special teams, the return game, do you have uh, an idea who the top guys might be there yet? I think Mason's a premium commodity there. And then on the kickoff returns, you know, we got plenty of guys just going to be who's the best. Right, right, right. Um, Coach Hackley's coaching hurt? Yeah, we got a we got a coach on the IR. He blew a hammy a couple of practices ago. Okay, we got him gimping around out there. Treatment. Let's we'll see if he's tough. We'll see. He's, not, he's back in Jersey. You know, when you spend a couple months, a couple years elsewhere, you get back to Jersey. We got to find out if he's tough enough. Right, he's soft enough in Pittsburgh. I didn't say that. See, you were trying to set that up. I'm not going to agree to that. I don't need that on their bulletin board. <laughs> Born at night, not last night, Thomas. I understand. <laughs> You guys don't do captains till the summer, but can you kind of see who's maybe front running for those spots? Nah, there's, there's, there's a good group of guys. I don't know who it'll end up being, though. It'll be interesting to see. I think one of the reasons we don't do it before is we want to see the summer. You know, summertime, I think, is where your team really kind of gels together. If we're not there. It's all players and strength coaches, so uh, you know, we're not allowed to be involved. I think that's where leadership really takes off. It's all the guys you like to play on the defensive line. Are you comfortable with the depth there yet? No. I mean, how deep do you feel like you go? No, yeah, not very deep. They're all young, and they, they, they don't understand how tough you have to be to play there. They don't understand how hard it is every down, what you got to do. You know, we have one guy who's tough enough to play right now, and that's Scott Vallone. That's it. That doesn't work. Greg Logan Ryan, what does he do well? well I mean, what's, what do you like about him? Well, he's a smart football player who has good skills. Um, he's getting tougher, which is something you need to do mentally and physically tougher, which really I think is only mentally, right? If you're mentally tough, you're physically tough. It's your brain that decides if you're going to hit somebody, if you're going to... So I think he's getting there on that, so I think, I think he's making progress. How's Jeremy been with the adjustment to uh, running back? I think he's doing well, yeah. You know, you can see we use him in a lot of different ways, so I think he can really be a... Uh, a weapon for us. What would you like to see out of the running backs on Saturday? What I've seen. Yeah, just keep going, you know. Protect the football, number one. Nothing, no run, no yardage, no nothing is worth the ball. You know, the ball is the most important thing, so that's number one, protect the football. And then after that, you know, can we continue to get the ball downhill and, and make positive runs? They don't have to be 30 yard runs, they need to be three yard runs. Because threes turn into sixes, sixes turn into twelves, and so on. Greg, have you seen separation with some of the guys at running back, or is it pretty much modeled right now? Well, I think those three guys are the three guys that have shown the best, and then the rest of them are kind of behind those three guys. Are one of those three standing out, or are they pretty close? I think they're all pretty good, yeah. Different ways, you know, they all have different skills. Can you go back to your uh, different perspective on the scrimmage in the sense that you're more involved defensively as opposed to being neutral? You're not uh, switching anymore, right? 
Yeah, no, during during the deal, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. It's hard to it's hard to call a game, you know. Um, the thing that helps a lot is I got Frasch upstairs who, if I need to go do something, he takes it right over. It's not a problem. And um, you know, with Frank being an experienced coordinator, I think you know, we'll have everything mapped out beforehand, and then game day management decisions I'll have to make, and that's. That's why we do it the way we do. The assistant coaches coach in between series. I keep my eyes on the field. So tomorrow, Saturday, will be good practice. We're going to put guys up in the booth for the first time. How many plays do you think? How many plays do you want to go? I don't know. I have to see the injury report from today. We got a bump today, so see if it's going to affect anybody. We're not very deep. You know, we're not deep at linebacker. We're not very deep on the defensive line in some spots. So you know, if we get bumping in those areas, we, we may have to limit plays. Got time for two more questions? Kiss the desk. Kiss the desk. Great. You love it. Wait, wait. Uh, give a, you want to give a plug to your sports information department, which was again cited by the football writers the second straight year? One of only five schools in the country, correct, Jay? I guess so, yeah. Well, Mike, the only thing I would tell them is be careful. We were one of the, one of the only four schools to go to, to go <laughs> win four straight bowl games. And that came to an end. So okay. stay on the chop, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.